So often we're concerned with making beautiful things. There's this unhealthy obsession in design right now with making beautiful things. Uh, we have our dribble accounts and we have this and that, and it's just the beauty and the beauty in our work. What about making some ugly things? Again, it's really backwards, crazy advice, um, but allow me to uh, explain a little bit. Because when we learn the basics of typography, as Jan Chicold teaches us, we get into a groove, we get into a rhythm, but I'm wondering in our generation, where's, where are the next David Carsons? Where are the guys fucking things up and making things ugly and all of a sudden turning these ugly things into art? And trust me, I know because early on when I was a designer, I wanted to make really fun, beautiful things, whether it's illustrations and animated GIFs of sorts or designing skateboards for charities. I want this to be beautiful, whether it's designing flyers for different uh, shows, different posters for different artists, musicians, blogs, even the AIGA, uh, or just some of my favorite bands. I want all this stuff to be beautiful. But maybe beautiful isn't always the point, because maybe we're limiting ourselves to such a limited view. So for, uh, in the interest of me being incredibly vulnerable with all 100 plus of you guys, I'm going to show you some really ugly work. And it's this ugly work that's helped me become the designer I am today. So I think when I started my college career, I was in an intro to design course. Um, I couldn't fabricate a story about this piece of shit if I even tried. <laughs> there's a clapboard. There's Superman standing on a building. And uh, the angles are all off. There's no perspective. But I made this. And I was damn proud of this when I made this. And it's ugly. And I didn't care because to me, this was good. And I didn't want it to be beautiful. I just wanted it to exist. Um, one of my best friends, Matt Bourne, and I were, you know, we're all about helping the community, helping the greater good. And so together we designed this poster uh, for the recycling club. Uh, we weren't too keen on writing. If you can see our placement copy, it says blah, 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 more and more. We are awesome. No one beats us. So we're very confident young designers. But I think the more interesting thing is we use the colors poo, pee, and boogers all on the same poster. So I don't know if we should be putting that kind of skill set on our LinkedIn now or what. But we made that. And uh, it's really ugly. But it's helped us get to where we are now. The last thing I wanted to show you guys was this. Uh, it was a Photoshop class. And I went into this class knowing I knew Photoshop better than anybody else, right? I had layer text styles that nobody knew how to use. I had layer blend modes that nobody's even ever heard of. But then I realize at this class that photoshopping isn't the same thing as designing because I made this and it's overtly sexual and I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> but it's something that I made and it's something has my name on it. And because of me making fun things like this, it's allowed me to loosen up and making hopefully more beautiful work in the future.